The flight of an airplane is made possible through a combination of aerodynamics, propulsion, lift, and gravity. Here's a simplified explanation of how these forces work together to enable an airplane to fly. Aerodynamics. This is the study of how gases interact with moving bodies. Airplanes are designed with specific shapes, aerodynamic profiles, that allow them to cut through the air more efficiently, minimizing air resistance, Utah drag, propulsion. Airplanes are propelled forward by engines, which can be either jet engines or propellers. These engines thrust the airplane forward. As the airplane moves forward, air flows over and under the wings. Lift. The wings of an airplane are shaped to create lift. They are designed with an airfoil profile, meaning they have a curved upper surface and a flatter bottom surface. As the airplane moves forward, air flows faster over the top of the wing and slower underneath. According to Bernoulli's principle, the pressure on the top of the wing decreases compared to the pressure on the bottom. This pressure difference creates an upward force called lift, which counteracts the force of gravity pulling the plane down. Gravity. This is the force that pulls everything on Earth toward the center of the planet, including airplanes. The lift generated by the wings must overcome gravity for the airplane to ascend. Control surfaces. To maneuver an airplane, pilots use control surfaces such as ailerons to roll the plane left or right, elevators to pitch the nose up or down, and the rudder to yaw the plane left or right. These control surfaces alter the airflow and pressure distribution around the wings and tail, changing the direction of the airplane. In summary, an airplane flies by, generating enough lift to overcome gravity, propelled forward by its engines, with its flight path controlled by adjusting various control surfaces. The design and operation of these elements are what make controlled, sustained flight possible.